We have been talking about the prospects of the 2024 hurricane season to be a formidable one. Warm sea surface temperatures among the high end parameters, but stay alert. Intense focus on named systems can sometimes cover up the similar threat posed by an unnamed disturbance. That's what we're going to be breaking down today. Jacqueline Whittle joins us and there could be a similar threat upcoming in Florida throughout this week. Uh, don't tune out, especially if you are heading to this sunny destination. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, we're in hurricane season, but this is going to be an unnamed system likely, but it doesn't mean it's not going to have impacts. Let's take a look at these graphics. We've got a stream of moisture moving into the Florida region, especially southwestern parts, but now even models showing Miami being hit with days and days of rain, Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, pockets of very heavy downpours, tropical in nature. And at the end of all of this, we could be upwards, possibly maybe 400, maybe 500 millimeters of rain. It has happened before. We're going to talk a little bit about that coming up. But yeah, this this is the, uh, this week's story, Seth. Now, freshwater flooding, as you've alluded to there, from heavy rain is a deadly aspect of any landfalling or offshore system. And Jacqueline, you've seen this firsthand. I certainly have. I've actually seen in uh, 2015, Mark Robinson and I went to South Carolina. There we are. Um, and we were chasing a storm, or close to, uh, called Joaquin. But Joaquin actually stayed well offshore, but brought devastating flooding to this area. And it actually uh, turned out to be over 600 millimeters of rain that fell with Joaquin. But if I just show you the map here, Joaquin was well offshore of South Carolina. So you wonder, well, how did that happen? Well, we had a low pressure system that interacted with the storm. And what happened was it acted like an atmospheric river channeling all this moisture from the tropical system and from the tropics into South Carolina. Um, it was a one in 1,000 year flood event in 2015, 683 millimeters October 1st through to the 4th. And of course, staff, we're watching this season very closely for several reasons. Could we see more of this? Now, tropical disturbances, like you've been mentioning, are areas, folks, of weather that can become full-fledged systems. And this year is expected to be a whopper when it comes to activity, mainly due to the warm sea surface temperatures. We've been talking about this, but break this down one more time for us. Yeah, it's really something that we have to watch carefully because we are only into the early part of the season. We're into early June sap and we've got temperatures that are already much worse than uh, some of the storms that we've seen historically. Like when we think about landfalling hurricanes like these ones over the years, well, you know, these were devastating storms like 2005 where we had uh, Dennis, we had Wilma, Irma, we had um, uh, Katrina, of course. The sea surface temperatures now are much warmer than they were even in that year. So it's something to watch very closely, to, but it, it only takes one SAF. That's the one to remember is that I go to Wilmington, North Carolina. This was another storm that Mark Robinson and I also covered. Um, and I believe it made landfall as a category two storm. But look at those winds. What what there's always something I always take away from each storm, whether it be the floodwaters, like you can see me walking through there, or maybe the tree damage. And that was what this storm did. So this was a named storm. Yes, it brought flooding, but it also knocked out a whole bunch of old trees in the area of Wilmington, North Carolina. But like I said, Saf, it only takes one storm and it's about the ones that make landfall. So we have very warm sea surface temperatures, whether it is brewing out in the main development region of the Atlantic Ocean and traveling uh, across to the coast, or if something is kind of doing like a homebrew storm, uh, you know, it only takes one. Once it gets in the Gulf of Mexico, for example, with these warm temperatures, it could end in a bad way this season. Some of these slower unnamed disturbances have the potential to drench communities, especially if they are slower moving. Folks, your takeaway message is to have a plan in place, evacuation routes, alternate travel and emergency kits.